What is up everybody, welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach and in today's video we're answering the question of how to delete a virtual environment in Python. And the setup for this is I have basically my YouTube tutorials, Python basics repo that has all the stuff that I've been teaching so far. But in it I have two different um, virtual environments and I have the ENV one and the ZENV one. Now I wanna delete the ENV one because it's kind of broken um, or it got messed up and so I wanna show you how you go about doing that. So deleting a Python virtual environment is actually really easy. Um, so like I mentioned, I wanna delete this env environment now there's several ways that you can do this you could just use your gui or your your main ui to just open up like on a mac you can open up your finder or if you're on a windows or linux you can open up the basically like the file explorer go to the folder where that env thing is and just right click and say move to trash or drag it into your trash can or whatever but as we are programmers i want to show you how you can remove this using the command line because if you can get used to doing some of these things it makes it a whole lot easier and actually a whole lot faster because you're not having to drag mouses and everything you put your right at the keyboard and you can just do stuff so the first thing that you need to do is deactivate the virtual environment if it is activated in my case it like over here in the terminal you can see that it is so let's go ahead and deactivate it so to do so you're just going to type in the command deactivate and that will then turn it off so from here we now just need to run one simple command that will remove that env environment all right so now that we have our virtual environment deactivated it's not turned on we can essentially run the one uh command to essentially re to remove remove these, this folder and its contents. Now, I want to caveat that the command I'm about to show is the remove command, and depending on what flags you put in and what paths you put in, you could wipe your system, so be very careful, right? So I'm gonna show you exactly how you could do this once you're in the given um, folder where the ENV, uh, where your virtual environment folder is, and how you can remove it. So again, be careful how you use this command because you're at the terminal, and when you're at the terminal, with you know with lots of power comes great responsibility, as they say, so just be careful how you use this RM command because you know certain things you pass in could completely wipe your computer. But we're gonna be okay. We're gonna push forward and I'm gonna show you. You type in RM dash R. Now what this does is say remove and then recursively and then if I give it a folder name, so I'm gonna say env which is the name of our folder because we're in this folder which contains the env folder. Now if I hit enter, this will then essentially remove it. So if I go type ls again, you'll see that env is no longer there, right? It was after documentation, it's no longer there. Um, now here's the thing of why I say this is important on how you use this to make sure you're putting in the right paths so you don't wipe your system because when you hit rm, it does not go to your trash can. It goes it removes it out of the system so um, this RM command at the command line is pretty powerful but I just want to extremely caution like this like and give you full warning um, that you know you don't type any paths you just type in the exact name of the folder followed by this um, and then you'll be okay right um, and so if you accidentally type anything wrong other than kind of what I've shown you here then you know I, I you know, hopefully that didn't mess anything up, but if you type this exactly, you'll be okay. So um, that's my little RM's rant, and I think everybody should have it because of the fact that, you know, RM is, pre RM is pretty powerful, and if you use the wrong um, attributes here or whatever, plus a certain path, again, like I mentioned, and I'm probably, you know, just reiterating it too many times, but you could wipe the system, and we don't want that, right? We're here about learning and programming, and, and we wanna do everything good in a safe manner. So there's your uh, um, caveat, or there's your, you know, watch out or whatever, but essentially now that it's removed, Moved. I'm going to flash up here um, the essentially the now that this has been removed if we want to go ahead and create this I'm going to show you the video um, which will pop up here shortly which will then show you and walk you through the crux, the, the steps to recreate a virtual environment because I think they're super important and um, I tell more about that in that video as well so if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and until next time keep on programming keep